Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the atmosphere of our world around us and today we will refer to ongoing events I would say the events that took place a few days ago that media announced in Germany we had an attempt of putsch or coup d'etat by some so-called extremist group and in my opinion, if you look at the details of this supposedly uh, ongoing or supposedly uh, pla planned coup d'etat that this allegedly very dangerous terroristic organization composed of about 20 or 20 something thousands of people was about to prepare, when one looks at the details, everything looks like a uh, cheap, uh, cheap show, cheap comedy organized by German special forces just to uh, distract the attention of German population from ongoing daily problems like increasing food, increasing en energy prices, like increasing rents for the flats, and 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 and. So suddenly, the media announced that there was an attempt of the coup d'état by some strange people, one for one graph of some German region, so this uh, descendant of the G German regional aristocracy, who would like to restore uh, a monarchy, German empire, coming back to the time of the Kaisers and blah 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 blah, because he sees that he is uh, fatherland is going to ruin and so on and so on so he started preparing with his followers the putsch to eliminate German elite and um, start new German empire again to rebuild German nation and German state <laughs> okay it sounds really funny but taking into account the fact how official German media uh, depicts uh, depict the entire event, one clearly sees, if one thinks on his or her own, that this is completely fake, this was organized by a uh, secret service to make population busy, make the mind of people busy with something else, then ongoing uh, real problems that affect actually every German household nowadays. And these problems have their roots, as I mentioned many times, in the politics, internal and external one, of the German governments for the last two or three decades. Tightening uh, ties with Russia uh, and also uh, relying on uh, cheap resources that now we see are not so cheap when time comes to pay for them and the ideological plans of building the pseudo-eco-empire based on uh, pseudo-green energy that uh, Germans were thinking to push into other new European countries and thanks to this move make their economies completely dependent on German economy and of course uh, they were planning to do it thanks to cheap Russian resources and rel still rel relatively cheap but not so cheap as it was uh, labor force in China, where uh, German companies are uh, working and producing for a long time and they were pl planning even to increase the collaboration with China to achieve their goal of building neo-Marxist, pseudo-ecological uh, German-European empire. Now we see that since February 2022, these plans completely went into ruin and now uh, elite German elite doesn't know what to say to the society, why they need to suffer, why they need to have troubles. So they are finding out such strange people from the cellar, like this so-called Heinrich the 13th, who uh, allegedly would like to be a German emperor, em emperor, emperor and organize the putsch to overthrow the, uh, uh, the power in Germany just, just to hand it over to himself and to his followers and uh, restart German state again. 
Of course, it's one big bogus, nothing else, because there is no reason for such uh, things to happen. Actually, uh, taking into account how much uh, current German society is brainwashed by the leftist propaganda, I don't think that restoration of any monarchy or conservative uh, form of government would find a broad support among these brainwashed people nowadays. So. <laughs> So everything uh, seems to be completely disconnected and for me all of this story is at the level of one of my favorite old sitcoms from 80s and early 90s done by British and it was, this sitcom was entitled Allo Allo and this is all at the level of Allo Allo and this Heinrich 14 and so on. When I hear this story I was thinking they, that they found a guy with the problems within the cellar somewhere in the middle of Germany, some equivalent of Mr. von Klinkenhofen or von Klinkenmeister and they simply manipulated him, the guys from Secret Service and some of his followers and just simply prepared everything to look alike, organize coup d'etat attempt but despite their efforts, despite the resources they invest in it, when one looks at the entire situation, what come out of it, one clearly sees that this is one big bogus, one big uh, cheap theater uh, just to keep population busy and distracted from daily problems that recently are only growing in Germany, growing, growing, growing and they cannot be resolved because all of the German economical model for the last uh, two, three decades, that was the one ongoing for two, three decades, it has to be changed rapidly because of the recent changes in the eastern part of Europe that affect other part of the continent and not only. That's why uh, German elites uh, are now in big problem because, as I mentioned, these changes cannot be done quickly and they have to be uh, painful someone has to pay for it and of course society is the one who will pay for it for the mistakes of previous governments so just to keep society relatively peaceful and quiet one needs to offer to the society some forms in quotation of entertainment and such a so-called attempt of coup d'etat is nothing more but only entertainment offered by the government and secret service to keep the German population busy and to show that the government and uh, it, the gov that the German government and its servicemen are doing everything to protect German state and German nation because they are really uh, they are really serious about their duty and they think about the country and the population as a whole to protect them from different form of extremism and other stuff. Really, really embarrassing story, really, really funny story if you look from outside at the level of the Allo Allo sitcom. This is how I see it. Have a nice day. Bye.